Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to all the battle rappers, the ones that's got the music going. Uh K Shine does his music thing. Jack. He's got a music thing. He's going at K Shine on a record. Bill Collector just dropped a record with Method Man called Rap Niggas. Make sure y'all check it out. His streaming numbers is crazy. He did almost 100,000 in a couple days, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. None other than Sue Surf, who does his music thing also. That's a lot of other MCs, but you know, we ain't here for that. We're not here for that. Sirius Jones, salute to Sirius Jones and all that he has going on. I've loved the way that Sirius Jones has been able to revitalize his career, reshape himself, rebrand himself when he came back to the URL. There was a lot of skepticism in people who didn't know if he could keep up with the times, but since he has, he did very good versus JC. He's had some other battles. He had the rum. Like he does good. He he's fit for this. And Sirius Jones is a legacy guy. When I say legacy, he was around since the beginning. He was battling in the murder, in murder mooks in the barber shops, and all of the other joints that he had. You know what I mean? Like we can't take nothing from Sirius Jones. I know he did the DTP thing for a little while, and then he was away from battle rap, and he got locked a couple times. But Sirius Jones is back in full effect, and he took offense to the fact that Sue Surf is battling Cortez. Now he's not the only one. First and foremost, Good said something on DNA show. He said Good says. That Sue Surf taking Cortez proves him right that Sue Surf is ducking. I'm going to talk about that ducking narrative notion in a second. Sirius Jones comes out and says, With all due respect, this guy talked all that ish about top tier this, and he only battling top names. Then ducked me for Cortez. He says, Then he ducked me for Cortez. Now, do I agree with that? I wouldn't say so much as far as Sirius Jones goes, but I know a lot of other folks would have wanted to see the goods battle. Um, Rock comes out and says, Cortez is better than you. Respectfully, come outside. I'm here waiting. Rock definitely wants the Sirius Jones battle. He said it in um, other instances. I thought he would have had the Sirius by now, but um, Rock said he's outside waiting for him. And then Surf responds, his goofy A, let's see his next tweet. So then Sirius Jones replies to Rock saying, How you waiting for me when I've been outside, Wolf? You seen what I've been doing to all y'all rappers. LOL. You, uh, you rock, so you tell you all to set it up. And then uh, Surf says, Cortez, better than Sirius Jones, either Frank, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Sirius Jones, dope MC. Surf has been on a run. Three battles, three wins. Midnight Madness, belts. Surf, your belts got niggas outside in Royal Rumbles, my nigga. Like your, these are the belts that you created, you sponsored, you endorsed. Those are your belts, my nigga. Go find that man, B, and don't come back until you find that man, B. Um, so you got Surf, who's in the position that he's in. He's battling Cortez. There's MCs who feel like he's ducking other MCs because he's do Now, I do feel like Surf is at a point where well, since he battled all of those MCs last year, he won, won, won. He's at a point where in order to facilitate his year, he could so-called pick and choose, cherry pick who he wants to battle. The Cortez battle, wow. Many are not giving him a chance. They're saying, you know, I think the poll is like 88 to 12. But I told y'all when I originally spoke about this battle, and I will again when Showtime SP is around, that Cortez wasn't getting no wins. I seen um, Rosenberg, salute to Rosenberg, tweeted, that Cortez would need to bring Asia Dean to the battle in order to have a chance. For the old head battle rap fans, y'all know who that Asia is the name. I don't know this. You had to get a permission. That was a fire angle by Shine, by the way. All the old heads in the comments, let me know if y'all remember that. Y'all niggas remember that. Um, so Surf is basically going to put rock on, put rock on um, serious. Like, yo, he wants you, you he take you. Um, if you ask me, Cortez right now is the more viable opponent for Surf. 
I don't know how I would see a surf versus serious. Like, even as a battle, like, a surf, like, Jones, 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 you gotta understand, right? URL, or the investors in the league, the people that's investing in these battles, they wanna see a return on the investment, whether it be profitability, whether it be, you know, people watching it, whether it be marketing, whether it be people talking about it. And Cortez versus Surf is going to garner a little more talk because Cortez doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell through media or through, you know, people talking about the battle or through fans or through polls. He will have no shot whatsoever. But the beauty of this is the battle has to happen. That is the beauty of the whole situation. We could do all these polls. We could do all these predictions. We could hold up L's. We could say he going to get smoked. We could say whatever we want. But it all comes down to the actual battle. And Surf has to be motivated. He has to bring three rounds. Three rounds is not a cheat code. Three rounds is not a trick. Three rounds is not a, you know, a special move. Like, you doing your job is not a special move. He's going to have to show up and he's going to have to rap. Now, the question for me is, this is in front of a crowd. I don't know if I would have took Surf in front of a crowd if I was Cortez. You got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people who have not been outside in a while. Like, haven't been to events in years because of the COVID and all that other shit. The world is starting to open up. People are outside, you know, vaccine mandates is dropping and all of that. There's going to be a crowd there. And <laughs> Surf said something the other day. Um, he was talking and he said that no matter what Cortez raps about, he can't rap better than me. That's the thing. He can't rap better than me no matter what he says, no matter what angles he has, no matter what he does. He can't rap for three minutes better than me. And that's the thing that I fear about Cortez in this battle because no matter what you do, it's up. This is not, like a lot of battles are even playing field. Like you start, like you got an easy to block captain versus chess. It's kind of like an even playing field. You got uh, chess versus calico, sort of even playing field. We'll see where it goes. Danny versus rock, even playing field. You see where it goes. When it comes to Cortez versus uh, Surf, the playing field is not even. He has to not do good in order for you to get a win. And the crazy shit is, like, these narratives, like, if Surf comes with three rounds, he'll probably win every goddamn poll. Not, not, I ain't the one that's, that's saying it. I'm just telling you the energy and the vibe. A lot of motherfuckers, when they when I first posted the tweet, when the battle trailer dropped, a lot of motherfuckers like, nah, you kidding. This shit ain't even serious. I made a tweet the other day that said, I, I'll, I'll probably go find it. And I said, who should Sue Surf battle next? And I put the name. No, I didn't put no names. I just asked who. I already knew about the battle. I knew about the battle. I was told. It came in my ear. I didn't release it. I didn't say nothing. I said, who would you like to see Sue Surf battle next? There was probably a hundred replies or maybe more. You know, a little booming. Twitter, follow me. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. On the gram, too. Um... It was hundreds of replies, and probably one or two people said Tez. I swear, everybody was daylight goods, daylight, daylight goods, 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 goods. Uh, all these names, nobody was saying Tez. So I said that from the perspective of me already knowing the opponent and seeing was there any hype or anybody wanted to actually see this. Now, do I want to see it? Of course, I do. I do. I've seen Cortez in some good matches where he's done his thing. This is his opportunity to show the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, like is it really like that? Because if he doesn't win, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. If he doesn't win or doesn't even make it debatable, he has to make it debatable. Oh, I had a 1-1 going into the third. I could give it to this person. I can, he, has to make, he has to do that. Because if not, <laughs> it's going to get nasty. Now, when it comes to Sirius Jones, I could see a Sirius Jones versus a Surf, but I don't think Sue Surf is going to take a, a, a Sirius Jones because... Sirius Jones is a talented MC, and it's a high-risk, low-reward battle. If you battle Sirius Jones and don't beat him, Sirius Jones could talk shit forever. Like, he's never... And it's the same thing with Cortez. This is a high, high-risk battle for Surf. But I think Surf feels like he has Cortez figured out already. You know what I'm saying? He feels like... He feels like... Yeah, I could kind of... Like, the vibe that I'm getting, I got him figured out. All I have to do is just continue the same shit I was doing in my last three, and he's not going to beat me. He was asking Cortez questions. Do you think you're better than John John? Do you think you're better than Cal? Do you think you're better than Twerk? And of course, he said he beat John John. He feels like he's better than Cal. You're supposed to feel that way. You're supposed to feel that way. Now, when I look at Surf's last three opponents, I feel like Cal did the best. John John was second. 
and the twerk battle was a twerk battle. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not gonna say nothing too crazy as far as like the battles go, or as far as what what twerk came with. We know how that battle went, so it's really nothing to speak about. So I would put, if I had all four, I would put Cal, John, John, Cortez, then twerk until otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Like he's gonna have to uh, prove. He's gonna have to do it consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people. They always ask me about, oh, who was like, you know, twerk blog, you want to see here about twerk? I'm like, bro, he's got to figure out his own demons. Like, his, his biggest enemy is being prepared for his battles. If you're not prepared for your battles, you're not going to win. You know what I'm saying? And there's no negativity. Like, I follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and he follows me on Instagram and Twitter, too. We were once not following each other. We were once blocked from each other, but now we're following. You know, so I don't have an issue with twerk. I actually like what he can do at the end of the day. But you have to be prepared. You can't be showing up to battles with fucking six bars and you're gonna win. Your popularity will not get you there. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna happen. He's a talented MC. He's had some huge moments. He's got a, you know what I'm saying? He's had a big, big, big window and opportunity. He's given multiple shots to do his thing. But consistency is where it's gonna have to lay. You know what I'm saying? But um, when it comes to Sirius Jones, um, talented MC, but uh, he kind of blasted Surf by saying he was ducking. Surf know we want to see him versus Goods. There's no excuse. Like, if, when the next big card comes around, like, no Summer Madness, or if Drake do some shit, Surf got to battle one of them names. Like, you have to battle Goods. You have to battle Daylight. It can't be another name where niggas is like, what? Why are you battling him? But they said he had B-Dot. I heard he had B-Dot, but B-Dot got, you know, he's doing music, got his album and shit like that. I'm never going to tell a man not to pursue some of the things that they got going on. Cause I seen people like, oh, he's never gonna get that opportunity again. Why would, no, you can't tell nobody not to drop their project, not to focus on their music and shit. So I will never tell them that, but I would have liked to see it. Not gonna lie. Who would I rather saw? I would have rather saw um, Surf versus Doc. That's just my personal perspective. It's nothing to do with anything. I'm gonna still watch the Cortez battle. I'm gonna still recap the Cortez battle. And I actually hope that Cortez brings some smoke. I really do. He gonna need it, but uh, there's MCs who's not really with it. They they they're like nah, he's ducking. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's the case because I don't know if he's been offered these battles. And with the rate that he's getting paid, he's saying he's getting 50, 50, 50, 50. He one thing about Sir, he will let you know what he's getting paid. He has no problem letting the world know that he's getting 50 ball, 60 ball, all of this. Cool for 12 minutes of work. One thing I do respect about. What Surf said in in, 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 a, in a, I forgot which incident it was. Um, he said, if I ever battle somebody who's gonna push me to the point where I can't stand in front of them for 12 minutes and rap without fighting or without getting physical, then I don't wanna battle them. I respected that so much because it's like you see these guys, a lot of folks, they wanna be, you know, so hard, or oh, I got this image, I gotta be tough and all that other shit. It's like, bro, at the end of the day, you guys are all contractors, everybody's getting money. Some people getting a lot of money, some people getting a little bit of money, but everybody's getting some kind of paper, so you, know, you would hope. But uh, you you just want people to do their thing, you know what I mean? But um, Sirius Jones got a lot of respect for what he's able to do. Uh, rock wants to battle. Take the rock battle, Jones. Take the rock joint, and then, you know, you can probably, oh yeah, Danny Myers. Niggas want to see Surf battle Danny, too. Like, come on, son. Like, like let's be for real. Let's, 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 let's not do that. Um, I got a blog about Danny, though, coming up real soon. Matter of fact, we're going to cut this and we're going to do that.